Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney Springs. I wanted to come down and do a little shopping, get a little lunch, and also check out some of the new summer food and drink offerings. But most importantly, enjoy an afternoon at the Springs. Anywho's, let's go do this. Our first stop is gonna be here at Uniqlo because they have some amazing Disney clothing in here and also they're doing some nifty photo opportunities. So I thought I'd come out and check it out. They have really awesome clothing, but the thing that I like the most is the Disney clothing. Like, they have a lot of Mickey Mouse shirts. In fact, they have magic for all icons, and you take a look at all the different Mickeys that they offer, and they actually have these all on the t-shirts, and I think it's amazing. And they're actually not that bad, like priced. $19 for a shirt? If you were in the parks, you'd be paying like $25, $30. You can easily get lost in this store as well because it's massive. There's parts of the store I've actually never been to because there's a whole entire upstairs. I kind of feel like I'm in New York City shopping whenever I'm here. It's got like all of the neon lights and the signs. It's really nifty. Earlier I was saying they had a photo opportunity in here because they actually work with a lot of local businesses So they have a little uh, photo opportunity that was set up by a local business here in Orlando Ooh, it's actually really fancy. Oh, and they're celebrating their five-year anniversary So all these different things are actually like specials that they're offering for the month of July. Oh, I like this This is really fancy. You get to sit down and feel all pretty. Another cool thing about this photo opportunity is they can actually take your photo here. So if you're shopping here, they'll take your photo and then they'll post it on the wall. So of course I had to. And I signed it a little bit there. Paging Mr. Morrow. And I'm also with my friend Jackie. Super enthused. <laughs> it's a lot harder to sign with a marker. <laughs> I know. <laughs> look at my look at my signature. I love it. <laughs> I think I got a lot of fancy summer clothing here. Also, I got some cool Disney shirts. Look at this one right here. This one I ended up getting as well. Click clack. It's kind of like the sound Mickey would make as he's walking. I really can, I can hear Mickey walking on that shirt. And then I like this one too. See, these are all so amazing. I also like whenever you purchase things from Uniqlo, they actually give you like a bag that also is a backpack. So you can just throw it over your shoulder and carry it around the spring. Because I hate carrying things around. Earlier I was talking about some of the summer food and drink offerings. Disney Springs is doing flavors of Florida right now. And it's actually a lot of unique, different, like summery Florida favorite items. And it's throughout the whole entire Springs. Right here we are at Amaretz and they actually have a Florida Sunset Eclair. That sounds pretty fancy. I'm pretty sure there is a little shot hanging out of that eclair. I think it's Grand Marnay, and I feel like I need to get it. Take a look at that. The Florida Sunset Eclair, filled with blood orange mousse, the Luce de Leche mousse, garnished with the candied orange zest and orange liqueur. This is gonna be pretty fancy. Oh wow, look it. It's got the orange liqueur like right there hanging out of it. I am so excited for this. I don't know how I'm gonna take it though. Like, do I take the shot first? Or do I drizzle the, like, do I put the liquor all over the eclair? It kind of reminds me of the boozy beignets at uh, Port Orleans. I'm gonna pull it out and see what happens. Oh, okay. So I actually have to break it off. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break it off, take the shot, and then eat the eclair. Kind of like taking a shot of tequila, but all sweet. Beignet. Do I bite this? I don't know. Oh, oh, you shoot it like this. Okay, here we go. So, okay. Oh my god, I can smell it. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> that is so good. I wish I didn't take all. Oh, there is a little bit of. There's a little bit left there. I'm gonna try to just sprinkle it on there. It goes really well with the blunt orange mousse. This is good. It's not as good as the uh, pistachio one. I love the pistachio one, but a good runner up, I would say. Now that we've done some shopping and we've also grabbed a dessert, I do want to see some other treats, but I'm more focused on lunch. And we're going to try to figure out where we're going to get lunch at. Jackie, are you hungry? Oh, I'm always hungry. 
Oh yeah! <laughs> One thing I always suggest doing is, if you have any interest in going to Gideon's, to actually get a reservation before you do things, because while you're out and enjoying the springs, you could be in a virtual queue. And actually, I stand corrected because guess what? They're not doing the virtual queue anymore. They're actually just having a regular line and I think that's amazing. They do have new items for the Florida uh, Summer Food Festival kind of. And this is cool because it's like a key lime mermaid. And they're offering a chocolate chip key lime pie cookie and a key lime pie cake. Wow. Even though they're not doing the virtual queue, it's still a 45 minute wait just to wait in line. So I actually would rather the virtual queue at this point because I don't want to wait in line 45 minutes. So maybe we'll swing back around if they do with the virtual queue. I mean, we have a lot that we want to do today. Now we're gonna make our way up to the world of Disney. I'm in search of the Haunted Mansion Fedora that they just put out. I don't know if that's exclusively for Memento Mori, but if not, I mean, the world of Disney should have it. It looks like we're really lucking out today. No wait for Gideon's and no wait to get in the world of Disney. Wow. <laughs> That's a okay. celebration. Blue skies. Cheers. Cheers. But blue sky. Oh yeah, blue skies. Look at that. Blue sky delight. Honestly, it's been a really rainy week here in Florida. So hopefully no rain today. This is so cool. Just to be able to walk in. I don't want to wait in no lines. Oh, look it, it's all lit up for uh, 4th of July still. Red, white, and blue. Well, I didn't quite spot the Haunted Mansion fedora yet, but I did spot the new Haunted Mansion ears. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm not a big ear person. I'm looking for the hat, but I like it. And I like this one because they got the foolish mortal like skull on there. Oh, these are really awesome. There's two different types too. They have this one that says 999 Happy Haunts, and then that one. I think I like that one a little bit better. Well, I don't think they have the hat here. I, I checked, I think, I'm really starting to believe it's only for Memento Moray, and that makes sense. But, I mean, I really need to get the Magic Kingdom. They do have some new Nightmare Before Christmas hats, including this Oogie Boogie one. Seriously spooky. I like it. I don't know if it's a closed back or a snap back. Let's take a look. See. Oh, wow. Oh my lord, the hat feels like his sack. Like, it's like, an oogie boogie sack like the hat is the oogie boogie sack that is mind-blowing since they don't have my haunted mansion fedora in there maybe we'll keep walking over to the co-op just give that a check see because you never know they might have one laying around and also maybe stop in the basin because i need some new soap i love coming into basin it's always got nice smelling soaps and i can wash my hands <laughs> i get all excited right do you smell it so good and i always have these soaps in my bathroom like i always make sure i have to stock up and recently i've actually went through all of them it's like you're just waving a sheet of velvet <laughs> and then what's this villain's body butter um so it's our new special edition body butter to you know honor all of the lovely villains Ooh. that disney has and it's gonna smell almost like a nice greedy drink because it's gonna have some pineapple some peach apple and it's gonna have that vanilla sugar in it to like warm it up so it's a really nice sweet fragrance it's gonna smell evil villainous you're gonna, you're gonna feel like an evil oh fancy <laughs> oh okay <laughs> I really like the villain's body butter. I put it on, it actually smells amazing, but I'm here to get soap in. I really wanna get some Halloween soap. I know that Halloween's kind of far away, but if they're selling it, I'm probably gonna buy it. Look at that, they got the ghoul friend. It's a sweet blend of apple and then cedar wood and then the pumpkin spice latte. Ooh, and then a Mickey pumpkin. Oh yeah, I had this one last year. It leaves a big mess in your soap dish though, just to be warned. But look how cool it looks. Now I'm smelling fresh. I got my soap. Time to head into the co-op. I'm gonna check to see if the hat's in the Wonderground Gallery. I know that that seems like a little odd, but they sell a lot of Haunted Mansion merchandise, so you never know. I mean, look, I could see Nightmare Before Christmas backpacks, a Haunted Mansion shirt, but no hat. Looks like we are out of luck. I would have checked inside 88 Main, but I forgot they changed that over to the Disney Cruise Line store because you would think like a fedora, that's a gentleman's hat, and that store was kind of like a gentleman's store, you know? But now it is the uh, Disney Cruise Line store. 
Oh wow, another opportunity to join a cool photo wall. Look, Jackie just did it, didn't you? So you can join this uh, mosaic here for the Disney Wish. You scan, and then I guess you take a photo, and then it pops on there. Look as it keeps on loading. That is so amazing. Yeah. Phone to align the curve. There it is. Oh, here it is. Yeah, do you see us? So do we? To align the QR code with the feed on the heels. Oh, wait. Back up, back up, back up. There we go. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh boy. G get ready. ready. Yes. Okay. Where's the camera? Where are we looking? Oh Two, one. Oh boy. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Oh, that's where it was at. <laughs> We're on two balls today. Two we balls. are. I feel like fancy, really special right? today. Very fancy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we've done enough shopping. I think we've actually got quite a few items today. We've so done enough damage. Yeah, I feel happy about it. Now it's time to get some lunch and just kind of enjoy. And I was thinking maybe down to City Works, get a nice yeah. little brew, see what kind of nice uh, they have special. Uh, what you call it? Now I think we're done shopping for a little bit. I mean, I feel like we got a lot of fancy stuff. We got a nice big bag full, and uh, I think we need to get something to eat. So I was thinking maybe down to City Works so we can check out their beer fights, get some food, and just enjoy. Yeah. I'm really enjoying the weather though here at the Disney Springs. Like it's it's kind of warm out, but there's a lot of breeze because before I mentioned it's kind of hurricane and tropical storm Elsa season. I don't know if it's a hurricane or a tropical storm. It keeps on switching up. One second they say tropical storm, one second they say hurricane. It was supposed to be bad last night, but nothing really happened. And today I can see a lot less crowds at Disney Springs. I always feel like this is one of the more busier areas and you can kind of see it's not that bad. And earlier there was no wait to get into Gideon's. I mean, there was a wait, but there was no virtual wait. And there was also no wait to get into the world of Disney. So there's definitely a lot of people. I feel like the storm kept them away. I have not actually eaten a meal at City Works before, so this is my first time. I've had snacks and of course I've had the beer, but now we're going to be getting food and also trying some of the beer. I think they might have one of the seasonal flights. Last time I was here they had the Pride flight and that was okay, but now I'm interested to see what they're offering for the month of July. And here it is, City Works. Definitely the largest selection of beer at Disney Springs. I think they have, I think, somewhere around 100 different taps. I'm always excited. Now we're inside, we're gonna look over the menu. I see they have a barbecue platter, and recently I came and I tried the polite pig, and that was phenomenal. So I'm thinking maybe I might get the barbecue platter, but first, we need to figure out what beer we're getting. This is the limited supply beer tap. So this is basically the beers that they have uh, just like limited time only. And for the full menu, you just take a look right up there. And like I said, they have so many different ones and they have pre-made flights. So I think I'm gonna go with one of the Florida local pre-made flights, the backyard flight. I think I've had it in the past and it was pretty good. So that's probably the one I'm gonna go with. Now to take a look at the menu, they've got some bar bites like popcorn chicken, pretzel bites. I think I'm going to get pretzel bites. And then also they have burgers, handhelds, and the mains. But what I'm interested in is the smoked barbecue platter. Baby back ribs, grilled chili, rubbed wings and drummies, pulled pork, Louisiana hot link, and then lime queso butter grilled corn and maple bacon beans. That seems like a lot. It's $38 and it's big enough to share, they said. So I'm gonna eat it all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding, I'm not gonna eat it all. Jackie's here with me, so she's gonna try some items. But I mean, I'm sure it's not gonna be that big. The Polite Pig one was huge. I'll let you know which one's bigger. And I think they're about the same price as well. So we'll see, I think I'm gonna try to compare them both. And here is my backyard flight. We got the Key West Somerset Ale, the Orange Blossom Pilsner, the Sunrise City, and then the Sandy Feet American Wheat. Very fancy. I think I'll start off with the Key West Sunset Ale, and then Jackie, what did you get? I got the uh, Florida Sunshine State Lager. Oh, so cheers. Cheers. Oh. 
Oh, that's good. To start off and to go with our beers, of course we had to get some pretzels. And look at this, this is an IPA cheese sauce. Are you gonna try the cheese sauce? I'll try the cheese sauce. Okay, cause I'm not gonna try the cheese sauce. I'll try it. <laughs> okay. Soft, mm. yeah, they're nice. Very soft. Yeah. Jackie approves. The cheese sauce is so good. Thankfully, yeah. it doesn't taste like an IPA. Oh, That's okay. What I was worried about. Like, yeah. It tastes like an IPA. No, it's just like delicious, warm beer cheese. Oh, okay. Really good. Yeah, I like these little things. Yeah. And actually, I think these are 50% off for happy hour. So you can get these pretzel bites for like $5. Mm, oh, look at that. Geez. That is the way. <laughs> the pretzel bites are good and they go good with the beer. Like, for a place that's actually known for their beer, they're also known for their barbecue. And I didn't know that. How many times have I come to City Works and I didn't know that they had their own pit in the back and like they, own, they do their own rubs and everything. So I'm excited for the barbecue platter when it does come out. And holy moly, the barbecue platter has arrived. Look at this thing. You get a whole corn on the cob. I see the chicken wings underneath there, the ribs, the hot link, the baked beans. I'm not too sure. I think the pork is underneath the ribs, but I can't tell. Oh yeah, oh, <laughs> there it is. There's a lot in there. There is a lot of food here. I underestimated how big this actually was. That's not like a half a rack of ribs. That's like, I would say like three quarters or like, that's a big, that's a big rack. That's a lot of ribs. That's a lot of ribs. <laughs> Jackie ended up getting the uh, City Works burger. Oh, yeah. look at that big pickle on top, I too. Love, I love that they put the big pickle on top. It's really nice. Oh, very fancy. And also some cream corn. The cream corn is so good. Really? Yeah, it has jalapeno in it, so I picked some out thinking it was going to be spicy, but it's not Not spicy. spicy. It's delicious. I'm excited to try this corn right here. Yeah, your corn looks really good. I know, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love corn on the cob like that. <laughs> I think I'm going to start by getting some of these wings. They look so good. I don't think they're fried either. These are baked. Baked wings right here. I'm sorry, these aren't baked. These are smoked and they are phenomenal. A little bit of hint of spice, but I love it. These are so, so good. Holy moly, and I got a couple of them. Now we're gonna try some of these baked beans. Look at that. Oh yeah. I think these baked beans are gonna be so amazing. I don't want to drip any, so we're gonna bite them right now. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the baked beans and the wings. I think I'm gonna try a ribby now. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't get ribs a lot because it's usually messy, but I'm gonna be very delicate. Oh, you got a knife there. And I like the way you handed it to me. That's the Boy Scout way. way. Exactly. Yeah, the, the Boy Scout, Scout way. way. Oh, the Girl Scout way, like that. Handle first. Oh, very Girl fancy. Scout, so <laughs> also, they actually shut the music off <laughs> because England versus Denmark, it looks like, are on the big screen here. So I'm gonna try these ribs here and pull them on apart. Jackie's cheering for England. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, that looks good. All right. <laughs> the ribs are very, very good. Now, they are not fall off the bone ribs. They actually take some time, but a lot of people always have to debate whether or not ribs are supposed to fall off the bone or not. Like a lot of people say competition ribs don't fall off the bone. So I always like to ask, let me know how you like your ribs. Do you like them? fall off the bone or do you like a sturdy like rib? Do you like it like where you actually have to bite into it? Now I'm gonna try the pulled pork which is underneath the ribs. And I noticed it's kind of dry rub so we're gonna dip it in the sauce that they provide here. Just a little bit, there we go. I'm all about the pulled pork though. Oh, really? I think I need to try everything before I let you guys know what my favorite is. Because I had the pork, the pork was fantastic, but now I'm diving into this bad boy. Look at those grill marks. Oh my lord. And I think they put the uh, the sauce on the side. That's that sauce that's right here. I'm not gonna use the sauce now. I'm gonna wait. That's like a butter, cilantro, lime butter. And I'm gonna try the corn just the way it is. The only thing left is the hot light. So we're gonna pop this bad boy off right there. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna turn. Excellent. And the hot link is going in. Going in. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, this place is phenomenal to come watch the game at. Look at all the TVs. I mean, ESPN Zone at the Boardwalk has always been the spot on Disney property, but I feel like this rivals it. Overall, I think my favorite thing about this platter has to be the baked beans and probably that hot sausage. I mean, that was really top, like, notch. Everything had such an amazing smoky taste to it. I am a big fan of the food here now. Like, honestly, I thought, like, I've always just associated just beer with City Works, but they got good barbecue. Now I am completely full. I have to say, both Polite Pig and City Works actually have a pretty comparable barbecue platter and I was not expecting City Works to be that way. Like I would expect Polite Pig to be because it's a barbecue joint, but now I know City Works is a barbecue joint. So I'm very happy, it was very delicious. And I definitely am gonna eat there again now that I know that they got good food. And I guess uh, I'm gonna start making my way back through Disney Springs. Looks like AMC is getting ready for Black Widow comes out in just like two days i'm excited i'm excited to get back to the movies to see a marvel movie you know what i mean like it's been two years since any marvel movie has been in the theaters and i've seen every single one of them so i'm definitely gonna go see black widow in the theaters i don't know if i can come here or not because amc is actually very busy at the moment they've been selling out shows recently and i thought that the movie like theater business was going under but i guess it's not and I guess with that, I am done here. I had so much fun. We did some shopping. We went to Unique Low. We went to the World of Disney, the Co-op, Basin. Just found some good items. And then also tried some of the Florida summer like food and drink offerings here at Disney Springs. And lunch at City Works, which is surprisingly amazing. I didn't even know it was a barbecue place. I guess you have to, you know, go experience these places to learn. But now I'm all about it. And, you know, I love barbecue. And uh, I would say City Works is probably my second favorite barbecue spot at the Springs now. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!